Hey, back in review today of the new All Might bundle. So this is the new My Hero Academia bundles. There's two of them. I'm only going to be reviewing one in this video, the All Might one, because they're both separate bundles, and there'll be too much to review. Four fucking skins in total, plus all the other cosmetics, a part of them with the gear bundles and all that stuff. So we're just going to review All Might here, and I'm going to have a separate video reviewing all the other stuff in the other bundle. But uh, yeah, this is the All Might bundle here. This bundle includes the All Might skin with two edit styles, uh, the All Might character and the random dude i don't even know his name and i'm not going to pronounce it you also got the principal nezu uh backling there you have the all smite pickaxe the symbol of peace emote and the all might's transform which is the built-in emote for him which does transform um the cool thing about the symbol of peace and the all might transform is i'm pretty sure the same emote if you're on the other skin and you transform in the all might they're the same emote but uh the other one is infinite and it is able to use on every other skin so that's good that they're doing that more 2200 for that whole bundle there if you want to buy all might separately he is 2000 this is like one of the first 2000 v buck skins we've had in a little bit um from my knowledge maybe the last was like lebron like the king lebron skin i'm pretty sure that was the last one i could be wrong on that but from my knowledge that was the last one no actually it was goku never mind i'm wrong it was goku um, but yeah, you don't really see that many legendary skins in this game anymore, so that's pretty rare to see. Um, the emote is 200 or 300 alone, the pickaxe is 500 alone, and yeah, everything else comes in with the skin, the back bling, the built in emote, and the edit style. But I uh, have nothing else to say, skin to it. Hey gamers, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, check that description for all the other social media platforms. Now, back to the video. All right, so here's the All Might skin with the All Smite pickaxe. Pull up. Swing. Nice little gold, red, blue, white, I mean, streak there. It looks nice. I do like that. Color scheme is pretty good. Oh, let's do it. Back there. So you got that anime one. I think it's different than most of them. Did I even do pull out? Yeah, I did. Okay. My brain's all fucked today. Epic loves releasing shit early in the morning. I don't know why. There's the little puff of smoke there. Doesn't look too bad. 500, not awful. Design of it isn't bad. Like I said though, with multiple of these anime skins, uh, even with the Mr. Beast thing with the anime version of him, um, nothing's gonna match anything else. Literally nothing will match anything else. It doesn't matter what you're gonna put on it. Um, even like this, this version, like the anime skins, None of the normal cosmetic match either, which sucks. I don't, this is the main reason why I hate the cell shading. I get why they do it, but kind of sucks. Here's the ADS, and yes, I do think that they changed the ADS with bigger, bulkier skins, like with Hulk and shit, because that would be normal ADS uh, before the update. Like, that would be normal ADS before this update, but now they have it even more zoomed in, so the ADS isn't as bad with the bigger skins, which, thank you, Epic. That's a really good change. I do like that, so. You can be running these bigger skins and kind of feel fine, you know? Like, they're not going to fuck you up as much as they used to, which is not bad at all. I will give Epic Games that. Um, so, yeah. It's definitely still bigger, like, with the shoulder. Like, if you ADS with the shoulder, you can kind of see, yeah, it definitely is bigger. But it's definitely better than what it was before. Pull out. Forward. Back. Left. Right. Not moving. Let's see what a building here. Alright, here's the symbol of peace emote. So this is not the built-in version. He does laugh. I think it happens with every other skin too. But it doesn't repeat. That's the only issue. I, th I think I said it early in the video that it did repeat. Um, if I did, then no, it doesn't. I didn't fully see the emo. But no, it doesn't repeat, which does kind of suck. But um, yeah, not bad. Still, you can use basically his built-in emo on every skin, which is good. I will say that. I like that they're doing that more. Uh, but other than that, it's nothing like spectacular. It's just a good like kind of pose or whatever you can do with every other skin in the game. So that's good. All right, here's what the skin looks like without the backlink on. I think most people will probably run it like this. The backlink doesn't really add anything to the skin. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing that many people going to be running that backlink. 
But uh, yeah, here is the built-in emote. This will switch to the other kind of skin, I guess. I don't know what to really call it. Um, but yeah, here it is. The All Might's Transform. There you go. Now you're this dude. I have no idea who this guy is, but this, now you're this dude. Um, but here's ADS with him. His hair is a little weird because it kind of goes in front of him. So it kind of like... It doesn't block your ADS, but it's going to glitch out. Like, see, now it's suck on him. Mm, <laughs> I think ADS is... It's not bad, though. Like, it's all right. It's not as like bad as, like, Goku and stuff, but not the greatest. But this skin isn't awful, but I think most people will probably be using the, um, this guy. Steady my gun. There's your built-in emote. Not bad. Not a bad built-in emote. Um... But yeah, that's, I guess, really about it for the All Might bundle. Um, so you've already bought it if you care about this character whatsoever. Or you've seen the show. Um, I've never seen this show in my life. Everything I hear about the show is that the fan base is absolutely terrible and is the worst fan base of all time. That's all I hear about that show. So yeah, that, that's great. That's great news. But anyways, the skin itself, though, is not bad. The skin's not awful. Um, I think it's definitely the coolest out of this like whole set from just like first appearance. Like I've seen these characters before, but like out of all the four that's here, like not, you know, like even in the other bundles, this guy does definitely look the coolest. He kind of gives me vibes of, like the Crimson Shim from like Fairly Odd Parents or like a character from like WarioWare, like some stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think he's definitely the coolest. His color scheme is pretty nice too. But like I said, all these anime skins, my biggest problem with these anime skins is the cell shading. The cell shading is awful. I get why they do it, but now it just is not going to be able to match with anything else. That's the biggest problem. So if you want to match something else from like a different set, like pretend the Leviathan axe or like Valor's pickaxe, that would work pretty well with this skin from uh, Chapter 1 Season 4 from the Battle Pass. Like, you know, the red and the white, like that would match pretty well. But you can't really do that because it's going to mitch mash and it doesn't look good. Normal Fortnite cosmetics, like the normal co color scheme and like styling the Fortnite cosmetics don't match with the cell shading stylistics of like the anime skins. Which that to me is the biggest problem with the anime skins. That is huge. That the, They just don't match. It doesn't ma match right, which just kind of sucks. So you can't really use anything from this set and another thing if you want it to look good. But if you don't really care, then yeah, go ahead. But... Personally, I'm just not a big fan of that. It kind of ruins the whole skin for me. But uh, other than that, not a bad bundle here. You get some cool stuff. Um, I like the color scheme of this guy. He does look pretty cool. But other than that, that's really about it for the All Might bundle. See ya.